Beneath the frigid ice, armies that have long been frozen begin to thaw. Five factions battled to control a powerful relic from a bygone era. In this video, we'll be covering everything you need to know about taking down Saradoman's general, Commander Zilliana, in the God Wars dungeon. Commander Zilliana is one of the easier God Wars dungeon bosses and sits somewhere in the middle in terms of the bossing ladder. She hits hard, but most of the damage can be avoided with some clever kiting strategies. And she's an excellent stepping stone on your way to conquering tougher foes like Vorkath, the Tombs of Amasket, and the Gauntlet. Zilliana drops some of the highly sought after equipment like the Sardobin Hilt and the Armadale Crossbow. Let's talk through some of the basic stat and quest requirements that you'll need in order to access Zilliana. The God Wars dungeon is located north of Trollheim, and thus it requires partial completion of the Troll Stronghold quest to access. However, with the release of the Combat Achievement Diaries, Gomul's Hilt gives three free daily teleports right to the entrance of the God Wars dungeon. The easy combat diaries should be quite doable on most account builds, and it can save quite a bit of questing. You'll also need at least 60 strength or 60 agility to pass through the obstacles blocking the entrance to the God Wars dungeon. And finally, don't forget to bring three ropes if it's your first time visiting the God Wars and the Saradoman encampment in particular. You'll need one rope to enter the dungeon and two additional ropes to climb down to, will, to where Zilliana resides. You only need these ropes on your first time, so it's recommended to place the ropes, teleport out, and then gear up for your actual fight with Zilliana. Finally, it's important to note that although you only need 60 agility or strength to enter the God Wars dungeon, you do need 70 agility to enter Saradoman's encampment, so get to run in those rooftop laps. For combat stats, I would recommend a minimum of 85 range and 44 prayer for Eagle Eye. As always, a higher range level will be extremely beneficial in both the amount of damage you deal and end up taking. 77 prayer will also help to drastically speed up kills with the use of the Rigor prayer. I'm going to be showing two viable set it, setups that you can use to solo Zilliana, a low level setup and a high level setup. Of course, the twisted bow is best in slot by a landslide here, but I don't have that, so I can't show it. For the low level setup, you can use a combination of Saradoman and Zermarak Blessed Dehyde, the Necklace of Anguish, Ring of Suffering, Rune Dragon or Armadil Crossbow, Barrow's Gloves, Ava's Assembler, Enchanted Diamond Dragon Bolts, and a Crystal Shield. This setup has the advantage of giving you full protection from the monster's aggression while you're getting your kill count and has a nice buff to defense with the Ring of Suffering and Crystal Shield. You could optionally also wear a Justiciar helmet for additional defense from the minions as well if you find that you're still taking a lot of damage. The high level setup consists of similar gear except that it swaps the Blessed Dehyde with Crystal Armor and the Crossbow Shield combination for a Bow of Fair Denon. The bow provides some really nice range accuracy bonus and hits quite hard in combination with the crystal armor. You'll also notice we swapped the bolts for a holy blessing, uh, which provides us protection from Saradoman's minions. The benefit to this setup is much higher DPS at the expense of some defense the crystal shield provides. For my inventory, I like to bring a blowpipe and serpentine helm for venoming the minions at the start of the kill. I also bring three ranging prayer and restore potions, six Saradoman brews, and four stamina potions. I also pre-pot an angler and bring an extra angler and shark for emergency food. Finally, I've got the Book of the Dead, Gomel's Hilt 1, a one-click teleport, Bones to Peaches tabs, and my rune pouch for summoning thralls. The best way to get to Zilliana is to use Gomel's Hilt to teleport directly to the God Wars dungeon entrance. If you don't have the Hilt, you can use the Trollheim teleport and run down the mountain. Uh, make sure to pray range against the trolls when you run by because they can hit quite hard. The longest way to get there is by using a birth teleport from a games necklace and running up through the mountain path. Uh, but keep in mind you'll need a pair of climbing boots if you chose to choose to go this route. Once you're in the dungeon, head southeast and mantle down the waterfall to enter Saradoman's encampment. You can get 40kc on the spiritual mages and rangers who are tangled up fighting Zamorak's forces. Remember that you only have to do one damage to a follower to get the kill credit. So you can tag a bunch of them and when other NPCs finish them off, you'll get additional kill count. You can also use the werewolf as a tank to aggro all the min minions while you rake in the KC. And unlike Kriara's minions, Saradoman's forces don't immediately aggro towards you when they are tagged, and they'll continue attacking their initial target, in this case, the werewolf, meaning you get free kills without having to pray or take damage. Now, most people choose to use an ecumenical key to skip Saradoman kill count because it's slow, 
However, I like to save my keys for Armadil and will leverage a spiritual creature slayer task to get some extra experience. Sometimes you might even get a little lucky while getting KC. The Zilliana fight is actually quite simple, and it's much more lenient to mistakes as opposed to Zamorak or Bando's 6-0 methods. We're going to kite Zilliana around the room while praying mage and staying out of melee distance. Zilli has a two tick high accuracy melee attack, which will rip through your health and supplies if she catches you. If you're using rune light, there's a few configurations we should set up before entering the boss room. Make sure to hold down shift and right click on starlight, the unicorn, and select the left click option of walk here instead of the default attack. You will notice that when we hover over starlight, we no longer have an attack option. Once we start kiting around the room, Zilliana and Starlight will actually stack on top of one another since they're both melee based, and it makes it difficult to attack Zilliana without right clicking. Since we set Starlight's default option to walk here, we can now left click Zilliana, which makes the boss fight significantly less click intensive and removes our chance of clicking the wrong NPC. You can also import ground markers around the room by copying the code linked in this video's description. Right clicking the world map, and clicking import ground markers. The tiles can provide helpful indicators of where to attack from. You can attack from each corner of the room and you can also sneak in additional attacks in the middle of each wall. Drink a dose of ranging and stamina potion and enter the room. As soon as you've entered, run towards the southeast corner, summon your thrall if you have one and attack Ziliana. Continue moving in a clockwise direction, stopping briefly on each marked tile to do another attack before quickly moving to the next position. You'll get the rhythm of the attack move sequence down pretty quickly, uh, but you shouldn't really be stopping for more than two ticks, otherwise Zilliana will catch up to you and hit you with her melee attacks. Now again, this is a little bit more lenient than Zamorak or Bandos' 6-0 methods, but you shouldn't just sit there on those marked tiles, so make sure to keep moving. Once Ziliana is down, continue to kite Starlight, the unicorn around the room, the same way as you just did for the boss, as its melee attacks can hit pretty consistently. Finish off Bree and Growler with your blowpipe and use the altar to replenish your prayer. You should also use your blowpipe special attacks on Growler and collect the bones to heal up after each kill with your bones to peaches tablets. At the start of the next kill, make sure to have your Serpentine Helm and blowpipe equipped and tag Bree as soon as she spawns. Start working your way to the southeast corner of the room and tag Starlight with another hit. Finally, move clockwise to the room, stopping to tag Growler with one more blowpipe hit. The Serpentine Helm combined with the blowpipe is guaranteed to venom your target on a successful hit. By the end of the kill, the minions should have less than half their HP remaining, and you can kill them much more efficiently. This ultimately helps to reduce the amount of damage you take and extend your trips. One more pro tip is that with the release of Nex, you can now bank at God Wars without having to get the kill count again. You can do this by first starting to rack up a huge amount of Nex follower KC, and then get your normal KC for Zilliana or any other God Wars boss. Each kill of the boss and minions counts as KC, so if you can manage to stay in the room and rack up another 40 KC, you can teleport out at the altar, use some of your Nex KC to bank at the Nex chest, and then instantly go back to Zilliana for more kills. It's basically infinite KC provided you upkeep your Nex KC every now and then. And next KC is also super fast because each kill counts for either 3 or 5 KC as opposed to the other uh, God Wars Den General's minions counting as 1 KC each. Well, that's all the information I have for taking down Commander Zilliana. I hope you learned something new or interesting and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps my channel grow. Have a great day.